Hey, what's going on guys? If you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to light a space heater. Uh, maybe this is your first time doing it or maybe it's been off all uh, summer and it's winter time you want to turn it on. So it's an easy process, easy thing to do. Um, but if you've never done it before, you might not know what you're looking for, what, what steps to follow. So I'm here to help you out. Um, we're going to dive right into it in a second here, but if you like this video, if it helps you out, um, if you give me a thumbs up or a subscribe. Let me know that you want more content, more tips. Uh, I'd appreciate it. All right, let's dive into it. So what I'm dealing with here is an Empire space heater. It's um, gas, there's no electric hookup. The model number here, I think, is R11853. I'm not sure if that is exactly the model number, but that's what it says on the sticker here. So before we dive into this, let's go over a few components that we need to know on this unit, right? So this is our gas line. We got our shutoff. We have our gas regulator right here, as you can see that. And then you have your control valve to the unit, right? Then we have up top, we have our igniter switch and then our temperature control. On the front, there's a panel here. So what you can do is you can pop up this panel. What I do on this one is I pull out from the bottom and then I lift up. Let's take a look under here and see what we're working with. So we got three lines coming in that you can see. Uh, one is an igniter, the sparker. One's a gas tube that allows gas to flow through when you have the pilot position on the knob in the back on, which we've got to dive into in a second here. And one's a thermal couple that just reads the, uh, the temperature to sense the flame. That tube right there is where the rest of the gas would flow in normal operation, and that's where your flame would uh, run along and actually heat the room so that's our goal is to turn the pilot on right now and then once we turn on our temperature setting to whatever is desired the rest of the flame should kick on and start heating so let's go over the uh the start process here step one for this space heater maybe it varies but uh, maybe there's a setting to light the pilot but typically what you can do is you put it on uh, a low setting right and then you're going to come down here to this dial which is right now in the off position and what we want to do is we want to turn it to pilot so that the little triangle on the knob lines up with the indicator right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to push that down. Uh, what that does is it allows gas to flow through the line to the portion or that tube where the, um, the spark is. And that's going to allow us to ignite or light up the pilot. So what you have to do is you have to hold down the pilot right probably for a few seconds if you put your ear close enough to the bottom of the space heater you probably can hear some gas flowing through the uh, um, the line near the pilot so you're basically forcing gas through there so that you can light it once you have this held down for a little while we're going to start to hit the igniter switch right here which i'm going to have to put the camera on the stand to show you so you can see the the pilot's lit right now, I'm still holding in the button on the pilot setting. And you want to hold it here for 30 seconds, maybe a minute, um, long enough so that it'll stay lit when you're, you put it on the on position, the, the dial on the back. So there's a chance that if you turn it too soon, it'll go out and you just repeat the process, hold it down a little bit longer, and then turn it on to the on position. So we're going to wait about 30 seconds here, and then we're going to turn it to on and see what happens. We're gonna give it a go. We're gonna turn it to the on position and that pilot should stay lit. All right, that's good news. So right now I'm hands free. It's remaining lit. And to make sure everything's working, what we're gonna do is go to that temperature dial up top where it has you know low, medium, high settings on the dial. And we're gonna crank that up to high. And what should happen is the control valve in the back should let gas flow and then the flame should be lit across that tube. Um, the silver tube that you see. So let's try it. Now that's a good sign. We're ready to go. We're in business. Next step would be to put the cover back on and then you're good to go. 